This is our barrel aged syrup. And we take our syrup, we put it in freshly emptied barrels from bourbon, whiskey, rum, and occasionally some special releases like apple brandy. And we age it. It ages for, in general, from six to nine months, but truly it just goes until we think it's ready. Um, I'm sure what you'll pick up in the video is that they leak a lot, and that is part of the process. The syrup is what's known as hygroscopic, and it draws the moisture out of the staves of wood, and then the barrels start leaking, and we lose some of the syrup. But the there's really no um, there's no way to avoid it. Fortunately, the the product is so extraordinary that it's, it's really just worthwhile. Yeah. So behind me are two 400 gallon kettles and we use those for a couple different processes. We, um, we make our infused syrups in them and then we also use them directly to feed into our bottling line which is to the, uh, to the right of the kettles. So they feed in through some final filtration into the bottling line where we put them into the bottles and uh, depending on the actual units we're packing the process is um, either fully, well, it's never fully automated, but it's various levels of automation depending on what we're doing. Our own bottles get hand labeled at the end and then hand boxed. For our infused, uh, our infused syrups, it's really it's similar to making a tea. You know, so we we pump in the, the syrup that we've um, we've matched the flavor profile for. So with cardamom, we've got a very specific flavor syrup we're looking for in order to bring out what we think is the best flavoring. We put it in the kettle, we'll heat it up, then we add in our ingredient. For all of our, um, all of our syrups, we use real ingredients as opposed to flavorings or extracts. So then we'll add in cardamom seeds, we'll let it infuse until we get the flavor we're looking for. Then we actually filter out the cardamom seeds, clarify the syrup again, and then bottle it. The syrup is heated up to a specific temperature and to get to a, a higher than normal sugar density. They put it in that hopper which is heated and then when they turn it on, they'll start feeding through candy molds and it will deposit the liquid candy into the molds for drying. When they first start, it will take them a little bit to get, to kind of work through the, the initial load and then to get it aligned with the, uh, the candy molds themselves. Cheers.